hello youtube welcome to my channel if you are new here i'm so so happy to have you if you are a returning subscriber to welcome back once again in this tutorial series we are going to be looking at how to create desktop applications using the vb.net programming language sounds interesting right exactly i just want to give you the assurance that this tutorial series is going to be so so awesome we're going to be creating interesting stuff so get yourself all involved and let's get going now before we get our hands dirty with codes i just want to throw more light on this vb.net programming language yes it is one of the many programming languages available you can use it to create desktop applications and web applications as well exactly now it is managed by Microsoft its syntaxes are easy to grasp it is very friendly okay so there is no worry exactly now there are some prerequisites that we need to uh, meet or have before we start actual coding okay you know we can't just turn up and then we write in codes exactly so what we need is an ID we need some sort of ID okay so first of all we need Visual Studio we need to install Visual Studio on our computers and going forward to we need some sort of server to be able to talk to our databases so um, I would tell you when you have to I mean get it installed but for now all you need is a visual studio all right and also at the end of this tutorial first tutorial you are supposed to be able to know how to create how to create a splash screen a splash screen um how to use the timer tool in um vb.net <laughs> yes so that is the main objective of this particular tutorial so at the end of the day you should be able to create a splash screen and then how to use the timer tool in vb.net without much i do let's get hands dirty with code so i have already opened my id that is the visual studio i'm talking about okay so first of all I'll just go to file and then hit on new from the pop-up menu then I'll select project okay exactly so I'll search for VB visual basic okay I'll just search for visual basic and then I'll select Windows forms app into bracket.net framework the one that comes with the visual basic options okay we have c sharp and then the rest but i'm interested in the visual basic so with that selected i'll just hit on next and then say tutorial um let me say splash screen splash screen tutorial okay for the rest you can choose the project location where you have to save the project that's fine for the solution name normally pick the name that you give to the project okay so let's just leave it like that and then this box let's just leave it on check the framework to let me just keep it as low as 4.5 and then just hit on create okay so waiting patiently exactly so we have our first windows form and this is what we are going to be using to create the splash screen all right exactly now you can just hold the edges of this windows form to resize it anyhow you want or better still you can come to the properties window here and then change the dimensions according to what you want and then you have a perfect size over here but then for me I want it to be like so alright 
let me just I'm just using my visual gaze okay so this is fine by me now let me increase the higher later exactly so I want it like so let me just send a start position of this form to center of the screen so that when it starts it will be at the center of our screen and also let me change the form weather style of this form I'll change it to none okay so that I don't have any controls around it I just want it to be plain like so all right exactly so having done this I'm just going to go to my toolbox here okay and then search for progress bar you can see from the tools menu I'm being populated with this tool here called progress bar okay so I'm just going to drag and drop it on the form just hold and drag and drop it on the form now let me resize it to a preferred size okay and then we need another control or tool as well which is a timer okay now we need to be able to tell our application that when this form starts when this form loads this progress bar should start executing all right how do we do that we need to be able to keep the timings okay so that is the essence of the timer that we included in our project so as the timer is taken this project the progress bar also keeps loading until it gets to a specified value that we give it and then it will end over there right okay so what I'm just going to do is that I'm just going to hit select the form itself and then just double click on it and then it will create a form load event okay simply when the form loads okay that's the event that we've assigned to the form right now so when the form load I'm simply saying that this time I want that we included in our project should be enabled okay let me just set it to true and then after it has been enabled I want you to start so start oh exactly now let me go back to the design view and then come and select this timer function or control that we drop in our program so I'm just going to drop uh, double click on it okay I'm just going to double click on it or better still I come to the event tab here and then this is a tick event I'll just have to double click here or yes I can just double click in this empty space here but I don't want that let me just select it from here and then double click okay double click on it and then it will assign a tick event the tick event okay to that timer so while the time the timer is taken let's simply tell it that it should fetch the progress bar that you dropped in our project progress bar one okay that is the name of the project progress bar that we drop in our project dot increment so this is a method associated with this progress bar so at what interval do we want it to increment at interval of one okay <laughs> all right now let's just say that if the progress bar okay progress bar one oh this is not giving me a correct suggestion oh progress by one dot value is equal to 100 okay then let's just say that um let me just say from one uh, let me just say dashboard okay dashboard 
okay let me do this let's just come back to the window and then go to project and then add windows forms from here and then let's just say dashboard frm dashboard okay so let's we go to the toolbox here and then search for a label and then let me rename this to dashboard okay can increase the size a letter to maybe 14 change the start position to center of the screen exactly okay now let's go back to our code base where we say if the value of the progress bar is 100 then let's just say that we want to hide the current form which is the splash screen so we refer to the splash screen by using the me keyword so me dot hide and then dashboard frm dashboard dot show okay so having done this we are just saying that if the value of the progress bar is 100 it should hide this splash screen from and then show this now let's just disable the timer as well timer one dot enabled equal to false and then timer one dot stop okay we are true now let me just hit the start button here to start debugging application okay it is loading I'm hoping to see a result okay exactly so you see yes exactly okay so that is how to do it now let me just add some few stuff to it so that we end it here let me just go to the for this place and then the copy this label and then just rename this thing to maybe splash screen splash screen okay so what you can do here is that if you have a preferred logo you can just fix it here okay you can just fix it here and then you are good to go now let me just do one interesting stuff as well just duplicate this and then rename this label to L L B L maybe percentage okay so while the progress bar is increasing I'm going to append the percentage value to this label here alright okay so now let me go back to the code base so just after the progress bar dot increment syntax let me just say that progress bar one dot value okay so let me just say lbl oh it should be lbl dot lbl percentage dot text equal to progress bar one dot value all right and you are true to you are true with that now let me say let me just append percentage sign to it like so now let's debug it again and see what we have so as you can see we are having something so interesting here right now so that's basically how to do it it is just simple as that you can add more interesting style i mean change the colors add your nice logo to it and you are good to go so that is it for this particular tutorial just a quick recap the objective of this tutorial was for you to be able to use the timer function our control and also be able to use the progress bar control to create a splash screen and that is exactly what we've been able to do in the next series i have some interesting stuff to show you kindly stay by 
see you soon until then peace